Hey, uh, what's going on out there, folks? Rooster here in Tennessee. I just uh, doing a little house cleaning and uh, cleaning out some radios that I don't really talk on and uh, don't really need, and somebody else can put them to good use. This one uh, in particular is a Cobra 142 GTL. Nothing's wrong with it. It's really clean, as you can see. Just a radio that doesn't get a lot of talk time on my desk. I've been talking on it the last couple days, and uh, I got to thinking, man, it's been a year since I've talked on this thing almost, so I figure if somebody else wants it, they can have it. It's got one scuff on top of it there, you can see. It's really the worst thing on this radio. Other than that, it's in really good shape. Uh, Digiscan 400 attached to it. I'm not sure if you, uh, if you don't know what the Digiscan does, all it does is uh, expand your frequency um, without putting a channel kit in here. That's as far down as we can go. And we'll go all the way up to the top. There's as high up as we can go. So anyway, that's just kind of something cool that's on here. The digiscans are kind of rare. You don't see a whole heck of a lot of them. We'll just go up here to good old 27285. You don't see a heck of a lot of them. I mean, they're not impossible to find, but they're uh, getting harder to find. Uh, it's got a variable power in the front of it. You can turn the dead key way, way down. Or you can go all the way up to... I think it goes all the way up to 12 watts. I wouldn't suggest doing that. That's kind of hard on it when you dead key it that high, but to each their own. We'll go around to the back of it here so you can get a good view of the back. Then we'll do a quick performance test. Here's the back of it. God, I know that's glaring, but... Pretty clean. There's where the digiscan goes in. It's a really clean radio. No, uh, nothing really. You can see it's got a few little imperfections in it there, but it's not skin up real bad or anything like that. It's got that one bad spot right there. We'll go back around to the front here and do a wattage test on it. <coughs> Twenty five watt slug. So we're gonna be looking at the top scale. Oh yeah, one, 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 one. Fifteen watts. That's with the variable power all the way down. And I'm not gonna turn it all the way up. But we'll just uh, turn the mic game down here and show you that it does work. Five, six, seven to eight watt dead key there. Easing towards ten. We'll back it down there to the safe zone. I don't like really getting it above ten. One, 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 one. Turn my mic game back up. One, 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 one. Audio one two. Audio one two. It's just a shade less than fifteen watts, fifteen watts or so. But there it is, Cobra one forty two GTL. Not particularly a rare radio or anything, but this one is in really good shape and does come with a digit scan and a built in variable power. You could probably have some work done to it and get a little bit more swing out of it, but uh, it sounds really good the way it is now, so if it was me, I wouldn't bother with it. I've been uh, running like this for a while, but there you go, folks. Turn this off so we can get that glare out of there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Questions, comments, complaints, shoot me an email, worldsdirtiestbird173 at yahoo.com. And uh, we'll catch you guys out there on the band. 73s.